to this day, there'll be people in this stadium, athletes, who just love spending time around Mori. He was one of the funniest people um, I've ever met, and that's that's the bit of Mori I'll really remember. His athletics knowledge, as Collins mentioned, was there, but it was just... He was hilarious. He was a great commentator as well, just uh, sadly the wrong type of commentary most of the time. And I mean that in the most, in the best way. He was, he was irreverent, uh, but, but he was incredibly knowledgeable and he'd be sadly missed. Well, we move on on the track to the men's 400 metres. Suddenly a tough act to follow on the track in terms of racing with that women's 1500. Uh, but the men's 400 metres is a high quality lineup. And James Williams is a very lofty company here, the, the British representative, but Pavel Maslak, who's the boss of the boards? A chance to see the great indoor runner from the Czech Republic going in lane five. So let us meet them all. There is a Yusuf Karam. Four wins from four in this indoor season, including Turin, the big uh, meeting in Poland last weekend, which is part of the World Indoor Tour. Q80 runner goes on the outside, but there is Maslak, winner of the last three world indoor titles and three successive European indoor titles as well. Hampered a bit by illness last year and missed the European indoor championships here last year because of a viral infection, but seems to be running well again. Akim Bloomfield of Jamaica, finalist in the 400 metres at the World Championships in Doha last year. And two Jamaicans in this lineup, separated by an American in the Obi Ibokwe, sub 45 man outdoors, looks to have the build of a, an indoor 400 man. He's not, a, not very tall, but he's got tremendous power. And Nathan Allen, the other Jamaican here, training partner, in fact, of Akeem Bloomfield. Quite often part of the Jamaican 4x4 relay quartet. And uh, James Williams will unbeaten this year over 60 metres around the north of England. You see he's got the build of a 60-metre runner, but he's good over 400 as well. New personal best, 47-67 over the 400 in Sheffield when he did the 60-400 double, a rare double. But again, he is in uh, a lineup here that is world-class, so a big challenge for James Williams on the inside. Look out instead for Bloomfield and certainly Maslak in lane five. Straight final in the men's 400 metres. No world indoor title for Maslak to go for this year to make it four in a row. Have to wait until next year. But looking here to show that he reigns indoors. Safe. Away they go. Just a little bit of a delay. In the but he's a moving quickly now and he's a very, very good 200 metre man as well. Likes to get out of control because 400, of course, indoors, there is the, there is the break. It's a slightly more tactical race and along with Ibokwe, Maslak and Ibokwe both looking to get to the front at the break and, and control things. And here we are, a little bit of jostling. Ibokwe just says, this is my inside line at the moment. So Maslak has to give second best for now. And it looked as if uh, Karam was all struggling there, the curated runner in fourth place, but seems to be running freely again now as they're stretched out with James Williams at the back at the moment, trying to hang on to this high-class field. A little look around from Ikboke at the moment, and Maslak trying to get back there now. Ikboke holding them up and just beginning to labour slightly, and here comes Bloomfield, the tall Jamaican, round the outside, times it beautifully, takes it just ahead of Ikboke. Karam was there as well, and Maslak couldn't find anything in the final hundred. Instead, it was Bloomfield that takes it, the Jamaican <laughs> doesn't look too out of breath, but he judged that so, so well. The smaller figures of Maslak and Ibokwe doing it all of the early running, and he judged it so well to take that victory. Losing a bit of Colin there, who's coming via the studio, analysing this. We'll get his thoughts hopefully shortly. But it was a, it was a fascinating race because Ibokwe, you could see that the lactic was just building, and he was trying to sort of stay wide and hold off Karam and Maslak. But round the outside, the taller figure of Bloomfield. Again, it's slightly more difficult sometimes for the taller runners on the tight confines of an indoor 200-metre track. But once he got uh, into his running, he had uh, enough energy in the final stages to come round the outside. And a good win by Bloomfield. And, Pavel Maslak, well, he's won so many times indoors, European titles, world titles, but this one just a stretch beyond him. 
He's uh, 28 now, and I'm sure he's got plenty of running in him, but uh, no victory here for the great Pavel Maslak. Akim Bloomfield takes the victory in the men's 400 metres. Personal best as well, incidentally, for James Williams there. 47-26 down in fifth place.